Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I made this super adorable gentleman's themed cake with a mustache and a little bow tie and suspenders. So let's get right into it. I have two seven inch cakes that I've cut in half and I'm going to be stacking those up with some Swiss meringue buttercream in the middle. I'm using my small offset spatula to make sure my layers are nice and even and once my cake is stacked up I'm going to be applying a thin layer of my Swiss meringue buttercream all around the outside for my crumb coat and I'm going to put that in the fridge for about 25 minutes to set up. Once my cake is set, I'm adding the final ice, so I'm being quite heavy handed with this, making sure there's a nice thick layer all the way around my cake, and then I'm going to grab my bench scraper and scrape away the sides until they're even and smooth, and then I'm going to grab my small offset spatula and pull all that buttercream that accumulated around the top of my cake into the center. You could really customize the colors to be anything you want, but I'm just going to go with a plain white shirt. So I'm rolling out some white fondant until it's about an eighth of an inch thick on my cornstarch surface. I'm picking that up with my fondant roller and draping that over my cake and just using my hands and my fondant smoother to push all the air out from the top and then just work my way down the sides, pulling out the skirt and smoothing it down until I reach the bottom. Lastly, I'm going to grab my pizza cutter, but you could also just use a sharp knife and cut away all that excess fondant around the bottom of my cake. Next, I'm going to roll out some more of my white fondant, and I'm going to be cutting out this long strip for the very front of my cake. I'm just attaching it using some shortening, but you could also use some water. And this is going to be like the button down part of the cake. Ideally, you would want to use a stitching tool for this next part, but I couldn't find mine, so I had to use my X-Acto knife and I just put in those little holes to look like a stitched line. Next, I'm going to make the mustache for the top of my cake. You could literally do any style, any size, big, small, mustache you want. I just grabbed this little template that I made for myself. I will link the one that I used below. And I'm rolling out some black fondant and then I'm going to put that over a piece of parchment paper so that when I use my X-Acto knife to cut out my mustache, I can just peel away the excess and then leave that to the side to sit. I do apologize, I know my fingers are quite blue from food dye, but that's just dye, it's not dirt, I promise. 
For my bow tie, I'm rolling out some red fondant, but again, use whatever color you want. And I'm cutting out this long rectangular shape. I'm using my pizza cutter to trim off some of my fondant in the middle. I want that to taper in, and I also want to take off some of the ends so that it looks more like an untied bow tie. I used my X-Acto knife to just clean up the lines and make it a little bit thinner and then I brushed on some shortening into the center part of my bow tie as well as the ends and then I brought each end piece into the middle. Next I kind of just scrunched the center to pinch in a little bit more and I used my fingers to kind of go into either side of the bow tie and puff them out a bit. If you want a really puffy bow tie you can put in some saran wrap or some cotton balls and let it set like that so it stays. I kind of wanted a more flat look just for what I was going for so I didn't worry about it too much. And then I rolled out another little piece of red fondant and just put that in the middle and wrapped it around and pinched it at the back and then cut off the excess piece with my X-Acto knife. So you should have something that looks vaguely like this. And that's just going to go on the same piece of parchment as my mustache and I'm going to put that aside while I work on the rest of my cake. I'm going to make the buttons and I don't have a button mold but if you do have one for sure go ahead and use it. But to make them by hand I'm going to roll out my light blue fondant and I'm going to grab a circle cutter. I cut out a bunch of circles and then I grabbed my little foam pad and my balling tool and I just put a little bit of cornstarch down on my pad to keep my fondant from sticking. Using my balling tool I'm going into the center of each of my cutouts and just kind of moving it around in a circle until I create a divot and it has a nice little rim. And then I'm using another fondant tool to just mark the four little holes and I think they look pretty much like buttons, so it worked out. For the suspenders, I rolled out this light gray and I cut out two long strips. And then before I added those to the cake, I just wanted to get a better idea of where I wanted my bow tie to go. So I grabbed that and I also am using some spaghetti to help secure it to my cake. I'm just pressing the spaghetti in to get a better sense of where it's going to sit and then I brushed some shortening onto the back of my bow tie and just pushed that on and it took me probably like five minutes of fidgeting with it until I got it how I wanted it and I used a couple extra spaghetti pieces to secure like inside the bow tie so you couldn't see it but it added another level of stability. Once that was good and on there, I grabbed each one of my suspenders and I brushed the back with some shortening and then placed that where I wanted them to sit against my cake, leaving a little bit of excess at the bottom. And I just trimmed off the top with my X-Acto knife. I tapered off the ends of each of my suspenders and then I added that same stitching pattern into both sides. I attach my buttons using some shortening going up the front of the shirt and then a button on the bottom of both of my suspenders. To attach my mustache, I put two pieces of spaghetti into either side and then I just gently press that down until you couldn't see the spaghetti anymore. So you could just leave it like this, it's a little more simple and sophisticated, but if your dad's a little more snazzy, then you could add some polka dots to the bow tie or the suspenders or both. I rolled out some yellow fondant and then used the end of a piping tip to poke out a bunch of holes and then I brushed on some gold luster dust to those and put them all over the place. It was super jazzed up. 
but I thought it looked really cute either way so you could do whatever suits your dad best. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Father's Day and I will see you in the next video.